Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for January 14th to the 20th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com, and all the information is in the description box below. And if you guys would like to personal read with me, go ahead and go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, you know I guys? I don't like to take up too much of your time. So we're gonna go over your day-to-day, -day, okay? Your love interest feelings, the block studies and challenges, and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue doing it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So what's gonna happen in my Aries Romantic Love Life for January 14th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's check this out, okay. So also Aries, remember you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these Aries make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. Okay, so I'm laying down the feelings now, the blockages here, and then the overall outcome. Okay, and let's get this all in camera here. Okay, let me set this aside. And also, this is going to be for January 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and the 20th. Okay, so let's first take a look at your blockage here, Aries. So this week, it seems like there's some issues around having the sense that you're looking at your thoughts, you're trapped in your thoughts, you're feeling like your back's against the wall and there's nothing you can do about it here, kind of energy. This could be you, it could be the love interest involved with the situation too, for some of you. Um, so it's like, I'm trapped in my situation, I'm blind to the situation, and I, I don't feel like I can make a move. Okay, so we're gonna have to see how that plays out for this week, okay? All right, so I'm gonna get more clarity on that as well. Eights have to do, uh, eight in general is a number of work or effort. So trapped in a sense of work and effort. Okay, so let's see what the first day is. Okay, we got the Knight of Swords energy. So some things are gonna be moving fast on this day with the Knight of Swords energy. Um, it's definitely coming in fast. Um, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, Aries. So we'll have to see how that plays out as we clarify further. And then let's see. Oh, oh my God. You guys got the lover's card energy? Mm hmm So lovers can be like a relationship, a commitment, love, okay? A choice being made with the heart. So there's something, someone coming in fast, making a fast decision about a relationship, about the fact that there could be a twin flame soulmate connection. I feel like when I look at the lover's card, I feel like those people that are looking at each other are doing it in a very pure sense. It's like, wow, yeah, wow, I really recognize this about you. That's what I kind of feel like about this. And it's almost like divinely guided there as well with that lover's card. There's like an angel above it. Okay, so let's keep going. Yeah, four of swords energy. There's a lot of planning and thinking and contemplating about this relationship, about this commitment, about this choice that you're gonna be making with the heart. And I feel like, I do feel like it's being done in a pure place, okay? So far, I feel like that's definitely done in a pure place and it's happening fast and with the Knight of Swords energy because knights have to do with action. There's an action being taken and what are the sword element is a communication or thoughts. So things are being talked about, speaked about, spoken about in a very fast manner. You know, things are being done in a very quick decision kind of way uh, about this relationship, about this choice being made and a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing there with the four swords energy. All right, so let's get more, some cl more clarity here and see what's going on. All right, what's gonna have my Aries Romantic Love Life for January 14th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, we got the Mice card energy. So we know that this quick energy that's coming in on the 14th is gonna cause a little bit of stress or worry and anxiety there with the Mice. Huh, but the Bouquet card coming out, oh my God, what a beautiful energy here. For the 15th, it's it's like a nice surprise there. Something of value here. Or it could be an invitation, because the bouquet card can represent an invitation. The bouquet card can represent attraction. The bouquet card can represent a sense of a gift or something of value here. And nines represent, oh my God, this fulfills my desires. Okay, all right. Oh, 
a gift of a ring for some of you. Oh my God. The ring card's coming out. And or there's some planning around that, okay? Because of the four of swords coming out. Okay, Aries, surprise, ring, okay? There's a little bit of worry, anxiety, and an abrupt decision because of relationships, something surprising about this commitment, engagement, or marriage, and a lot of thinking, planning, and contemplating. Whoa, okay, Aries, you know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? So the number wise, five, there's some big changes happening here that's gonna fulfill your desires, that there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing, seven card energy about stability and stableness, four card energy, okay. Let's get more information on what's going on here. I'm crossing my fingers, okay. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. All right, what's gonna happen my Aries Romantic Love Life for January 14th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There is the stress and anxiety, again, clarified like the mice card because this quick decision. Okay, what did I say? It could be an invitation. We see socializing, going out, having a good time. Okay. Oh my God, the soulmate card's coming out. There is a relationship forming here, or there's something to do with this relationship here and a strong commitment. There's a lot of thinking and contemplating, analyzing about this. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so on this day on the 17th, you may want to be careful. There's a sense of loss, a sense of being left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles energy when it comes to a person. And then there's a reconciliation happening, it looks like in the same day. So there was some issues there, it looks like at the beginning of the day there with a person. Now the person card could be you, could be the love interest. And then we have the reconciliation card happening. Okay. Reconciliation could be a reconciliation of a relationship. It could just be saying there's a healing aspect of that on that day after the sense of loss. Okay, so let's keep going. King of Wands energy. So we see Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, a passionate energy there with the, knight, the King of Wands. Huh, through a letter, message, document, okay, a passionate letter, message, or document, which makes you completely happy, okay, with the 10 of cups on that day. And two plus seven is eight and nine. Again, there's a sense of desires around that, okay. And then we see the High Priestess card energy on the 19th. Now that's an air of mystery. That could be something secret going on, something behind the veil. Let's see what that's about. Lily's card energy. Okay, patience and this healing. Okay, so you could be gaining knowledge, you could be using your intuition and reflecting on the situation and it's gonna give you a sense of healing on that day because we look at what's above that card, the social uh, reconciliation card because of going out and having a good time. All right, so, and then we end out the week on the 20th with the Two of Swords energy. So you're indecisive here about travel, movement or change or if this person misses you but there is an effort being made here with the making an effort card. Okay, so there's a stressful aspect of this because of other people or going out or socializing here in a relationship. We see there's a reconciliation that happens. It makes you completely happy. There's a lot of time to reflect. And because of this time that's being reflected, there's an effort that's gonna be made in the connection. Okay, so, and if we look at what, what's above that, well, there's a ring there. Okay, going down another layer here, Aries, there's some stress happening, worry and anxiety, but then something surprising happens about this commitment because this person and a text message, letter, document, or paperwork, and then there's this patient energy or this wise decision that's made here uh, for some kind of change because the ship card can talk about travel, movement, or change, or travel for some of you, or also the ship card can represent missing or longing happening here which that's what I feel like, there's a missing or longing energy for some of you. Now for the others of you, it could be uh, um, like traveling, this person travels towards you because there was indecisions to make the effort. Okay, so we see an abrupt decision about a relationship and a lot of thinking, contemplating about the sense of loss, and it looks like there's a person that takes a leadership role. It's an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, but or it could just be the person you feel passionate about as well. Um, and because of this, there is knowledge that's gained about this indecision. Okay, so let's go further into this and see what's going on here. All right, so how does your love interest feel about you? You've got the Eight of Cups energy. We got the Eight of Wands energy. We got a lot of eights, and we got the Hierophant. Wow, that absolutely means marriage. That means a strong commitment, traditional values. Okay, so this person feels like 
I don't want to deal with my emotions. I just want to walk away, but then I want to communicate some things about marriage and long-term commitment. Your person's a little bit all over the place there, isn't I? So let's keep going. Child, death card or coffin card, and indecision. So that's why they're indecisive. So it's like, should I walk away for someone new or a fresh start, new opportunity? I want to communicate some things about ending, stopping, and completing a situation, but then I'm indecisive because of marriage, because of wanting a commitment. Okay, continuing further. Yeah, they're, they're lacking some kind of knowledge or they want to gain knowledge to make the best decision here, wisdom card, and they're at a crossroads. Yeah, so this person's kind of going back and forth in their energy. It's like they want to kind of walk away, but on the same token, there they want this strong commitment here. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's keep going here. All right, so what is this indecision, of, uh, excuse me, this trapped energy about? Fulfillment of desires, visiting someone, opportunity to nurture and support. So it looks like there was this, the blockage was, should I focus on self-love and address my own needs and ground myself and just be trapped in my own thoughts? Or should I take this action? Toward, uh, should I go towards my desires for this opportunity? Or also, you may have felt trapped because this person did visit you, okay? And it's kind of like they were trying to be nurturing and supportive and you're kind of like, all right, now you're putting me in a situation here where I'm kind of trapped to have to deal with this kind of energy. Okay, so let's round this together and see the overall outcome here. All right, we got the Six of Pentacles energy. We have the Two of Cups energy. Wow, we got the Lovers and the Two of Cups in this reading. And we got the Knight of Wands, okay. I'm feeling like I'm not getting an equal give and take in this relationship. And, and then there is this, you know, a lack of commitment possibly with the Knight of Wands energy or a lot of passionate energy that comes in with the Knight of Wands energy. Considering we saw the King of Wands, I do feel like there's some, a passionate action is gonna be taken here towards love in a relationship um, to bring things into balance. So let's see what that's about. Yeah, there is a confusion. Why am I not getting an equal amount of time here? And then we see the star card energy. There's something hopeful here, the soulmate connection, this love. And then the heart card comes out. Oh my God, what a great card combination for Lenormand. Star and heart together, wow. That's it's saying, okay, you fulfill my dreams. I'm confused here, but you know what? I'm hopeful of the positive outcome because I love you. Heart card energy. And we see there's something spiritual. Also, the star card can represent a spiritual connection. We should see the lover's card. And in a lot of chemistry and passion. Mm -hmm. And let's heal this family long-term commitment. Okay. So it feels like there was some things that were confusing here. And then um, uh, there was clarity that was gotten because of the passionate gestures there, which brought a lot of hope to a relationship or the start of a relationship, and the fact that there was love here with the heart card energy. There's going to be love here with the heart card energy, which is going to be a very healing energy, and it's going to move it in more of in a long-term direction with the family card coming out. And let's just go further. A power move is made because of romantic feelings and heart heart conversations are had. So that also could explain the writer card energy giving you some kind of good news or news about the situation because I'm trapped in these thoughts and I need answers here and I want to be nurturing and supportive. And uh, also the writer card could be saying this person paid you a visit because an action is being taken because of love to have heart heart conversations about this romance. Okay. So anyway, Aries, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? This is an amazing read. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your uh, week here, next couple days. And there's multiple readings for you guys to go check out. And you know I'm back on track again so far. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed because I'm going to be moving soon. So um, the monthlies are up and available, which is love, health, and wealth. And then also there is the next two weeks, which is love interest and single separate reads. Um, what do they secretly want to tell you is up and available to watch? Yeah, so there's multiple readings. And the next reading after this, guys, is going to be how do they truly feel about you, okay? All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in another day or two. And yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.